I'm Rick Riordan. I'm Marco Shero. And we are so excited the sun and the star is coming out at last. Yay! We're really excited because Nico and Bill are finally getting their own book. They get to plunge into Tartarus together again. Exactly. But not only that, this is a story about a voice that Nico has been hearing that he finally realizes he needs to answer. What was so much fun about doing this was the way that we basically took turns on the book. I knew just sort of on a gut level that this was not a book that I really should be writing myself. The thing with Nico in particular, and why so many of us love Nico as much as we do, you know, Solangelo supremacy here in this house, <laughs> is because for a lot of us, Nico represents what many of us have been through. Some of us had very difficult childhoods because of who we are. You know, we've had to deal with things like loss and grief and rejection or whatnot. And we have this little ball of darkness who is actually a ball of light to us. Getting to write from that experience, being allowed to do so openly and honestly, I hope as readers get into it that they can see elements of that in there. And that sometimes being honest is a very freeing, very cathartic thing. We both tried very new things with this book. Oh yeah, there's so many ways that this book is not like anything yeah. that has ever come out in the Percy world. And that really wouldn't and couldn't have happened if we hadn't been collaborating right. on it. Right. When I hear the word theme, I always think back to the school visit that I did like years ago. And this one kid raised their hand and said, what's the theme of your book? And I said, well, I." I don't know, you'll have to tell me. And they said, darn, I need that for my report. <laughs> One of the things that was very obvious, even from the very first version that you gave me before I had written a single word for any of this was that this was a story about being who you want to be and not necessarily caring how everyone else in the world thinks about you. And so I love that this book is so much about shedding away that anxiety and becoming who you want to be because it makes you happy. I just love that that felt baked into it from the very start. Let's go with that theme. Yes, I like there that we go. Theme. Intentional the whole time. <laughs> I think a lot of readers, understandably, are expecting a book that is fairly dark because this is a journey to Tartarus. But I think this book has a lot of light to it. A lot of fun, great jokes. You wrote my favorite joke in the entire series, and I'll tell you when it's out. So my favorite joke in the book is there's the scene where... It's my absolute favorite joke. Oh, I love it. That's great. The darker and more serious the material gets, the more you need that light. And it's a reminder that even in our darkest moments, we find humor. We have yeah. to. I would love to know how you continue to balance having both of these things in the same story. Well, um, if I figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we all have things within us that we think are problematic. And how do you come to terms with that? I was approaching it from this place of, here is this kid who's gone through such immense trauma in their life. Mm. And part of Nico's identity is around that. He is just darkness. And so he accepts, I'm darkness and nothing else. And then he goes on this journey with this boy of the sun and how Will starts pulling the lightness out of him and reminding him like you are other things. I do think it's very much about this idea that identity is fluid. Sometimes, you know, characters who are LGBT are background characters. They don't get their main book. We only see little bits and snippets of their lives. They're usually a sidekick. The book treats them on the same level as Percy and Annabeth, that it, it, they are a couple who's worthy of the same level of attention, who's worthy of the same depth of story. I think Nico admires Will's strength. For Nico, I think Will would be drawn to him, at least at the beginning, because they are so different yes. on the face of things. I think that would be intriguing to Will. Maybe a little bit of a challenge, mm -hmm. like oh. um, I, I know that there's more to this young man than he's letting on. I think it's because they ultimately accept who the other person is. Neither one of them wants to change the core of who the other person is. Tell us about Tartarus. Well, Tartarus. First of all, Tartarus is like a, a primordial god force. He's not only a god, but he's also like a world. The old story is it would take uh, a hammer nine days to fall from the heavens to the earth and another nine days to fall from the earth into Tartarus. It's a, a place of primordial chaos and yes, darkness and danger, uh, but also kind of 
rebirth. How would you survive Tartarus? If I could only bring three things to Tartarus, my instinct would be to pick three friends rather than for three things. Right. <laughs> a cornucopia for, for sustenance, something to fend yourself with, something that would allow you to send messages back and forth. I think that'd be really important to remind yourself there's other people out there. I will give as one of my answers a thing that is that Will takes, which is the sun globe. Yeah. These therapy globes, which is a thing I used when I was living in New York during the dark winter months that provides that. sunlight and it is a form of sun therapy. So I'll do Sun Globe, a bunch of Lunchables, and an iPod full of music. <laughs> I love it, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay, like actual, okay.